S-T-E-V-E-N-O-L-I-K-A-R-A. All right, and what's your title? I'm the founder and president of the Millennial Action Project. All right, can you give me some background information about what the Millennial Project uh, Yes, the Millennial Action Project. Yes, yeah, so the Millennial Action Project is a national, nonpartisan organization working to bring together millennial lawmakers across party lines. We believe our country is best when we bring the ideas together from all across the spectrum. And most importantly, millennials are now demonstrating in Congress and state legislatures uh, that we can bridge the partisan divide. So we operate in Congress, as well as in now 26 states, including here uh, in Wisconsin, which is my uh, home state. And we've worked on economic innovation issues, student debt relief, veterans employment, and political reform, just to name a few issues. What was the purpose of this roundtable discussion today? So today we're here in Appleton, the heart of the Fox Valley, to talk about the future of work. What's the future of workforce going to look like? What are the future job opportunities going to look like? This conversation today highlighted that there will be massive disruptions from technology into the workforce. For example, we talked a lot about artificial intelligence and automation. That will displace a number of jobs. At the same time, we also highlighted the importance of the entrepreneurial ecosystem in creating new jobs. Since 1980, one very important point is that virtually all new job creation, net new job creation, has come from startups under the age of five. And so that's really going to be the young people who have innovative ideas to grow and start businesses. And we need both the private sector and government involved in public-private partnerships to empower these young entrepreneurs. So those are some of the big takeaways from today. Yes. Well, a couple big things. First of all is just the importance of reaching millennials who are often not included in conversations about politics and government, but that's very intentionally why we founded the Millennial Action Project. Our lawmakers are in the millennial age range. Uh, Congressman Gallagher is one of the youngest members of Congress. Representative Amanda Stuck is one of the youngest state representatives. And part of the reason that we formed the Wisconsin Future Caucus and the Congressional Future Caucus and this whole Future Caucus network around the country is to bring the millennial perspective to the table in government. It's our belief that if we can bring this new generational perspective, we can overcome the partisan divide and start working together as a country. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much.